Hey guys, welcome to AFC Wimbledon, uh, where today we're going to be um, we're going to be playing our first game of the season away at Tranmere. But uh, before we get into the game, uh, I want to go over uh, a few things. Uh, we signed some scouts. Um, I did try and improve uh, the staff with like fitness coaching, uh, more coaches, just that in general. But it's it's really hard to 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 find the wage budget. You know, however, um, if you can see uh, in the pending transfers area, though, we started off uh, with a, a 10k transfer budget, and I think it was uh, 1.8k available wage budget. Uh, what I did uh, in regards to this is I actually, um, I actually offered you know some players who are on you know some like 1k, 2k a week. Uh, contracts and I, I I lowered them down a couple of hundred quid. It took me a while, and some players, you know, uh, you can only really negotiate two times before they like no, and it's sort of like a a lock thing. But anyway, you know, so I got like three or four players that didn't like, accept a new contract uh, after me offering them one. Um, but anyway, we actually managed um, to sell a youngster. Now originally um, we was going. Uh, Wigan put in a bid and I managed to whittle them up to, to about 60k for him when their initial bid was 30k so I was pretty happy about that um, but anyway uh, Wigan actually didn't end up selling um, uh, end up buying him sorry and he ended up going to, to Huddersfield for 50k which I was a little bit disappointed with but you know um, I'm not you know I'm not too disappointed with that I mean he, to be honest uh, it, it I didn't really see any like future with him. He was a six foot four left back. Uh, with not like with marking that wasn't very good. I mean he was only sixteen. You know, probably if he does turn out to be a big player, then I'm, I'm going to look back and I'm going to think to myself, what the fuck was I doing? You know, just you know. Anyway, so I'm going to go through the, with the transfers, and um, I'm also going to go through, uh, you know, uh, there's a transfer that I was really really close to signing, but then uh, his work plan failed. And yeah, man. Oh, I wish I really wish I got him. But anyway, so we got this guy. Um, he's gonna be our main striker, I think. Um, probably second uh, to none. Um, but you know, so he's got really good stats. He's got great finishing, pretty good mentals, and really good physical assist level. He's a really well balanced striker. Uh, he's probably gonna be playing the poacher role, but he's all right. We got him on loan from Crystal Palace, so that was pretty good. Um, we got Danny Fitzsimmons, um, who honestly. Um, I played as Whitehawk where they were in the Conference South and he, this guy was a godsend for me in the first two seasons where we went from the South to the Conference and uh, I actually never played him, uh, I never got the opportunity to play him in uh, League 2 and honestly I think I might have accidentally loaned him out for a season um, mistakenly but I mean he, he might become useful during the, thing, uh, during the th season so that's why I decided to keep him on. And we managed to get this guy for 9k, they offered him out for 9k, Chris Clements um, from Mansfield. And honestly, he looks fantastic in my eyes, He's, uh, I think he's our best can. Well, I mean, okay, I'm wrong. But this guy, uh, well, fair enough, okay, but this guy's young anyway. Um, and this guy's going to be playing striker, so I think this guy's probably going to be... Anyway, regardless, okay, he's got a little bit more potential, which is you know, decent. Um, he's good for the squad at the minute, I think. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, I think he's going to be a good player. For 9k, you can't really go wrong. Anyway, um, then I gave this guy a trial. And uh, he actually performed really well in it. I think it was like three of the three friendly games. And I decided, you know what, you've, you've probably earned a contract. Um, he's only on 230 quid a week, which is fantastic, to be honest. That's, it's quite low. Um, although it does say here that he's like seventh, um, high, uh, the seventh highest... Um, centre mid. I completely disagree with that because Jack Finch and Reeves are definitely centre defensive mids. Um, and so, I mean, I don't know. Chris Clements is more of a right midfield in my opinion, but I mean, I don't know. Never mind. Anyway, um, let's just go on to the next one, which is Jack Finch on loan. This guy looks absolutely fantastic. Um, he was actually 17 the last time I checked. So, 
yeah, it was his birthday three days ago in game, so that was fantastic. But this guy, oh my goodness, look how like absolutely fantastic he is. His technicals aren't fantastic, but he's got a good he's got good technicals for his CDM role. His physicals could probably do with some work, but his mentals are really where he shines. For an eighteen year old, he's fantastic. We, regardless, um, I mean, he's definitely going to perform well in this league. Like I, I already know that, but I mean, I um, I really hope that maybe we could actually sell, uh, sign him at the end of the season, which, you know, would be fantastic. Uh, anyway, here here we signed some few youngsters, but I mean, I think this guy can probably make a good impact straight away. Um, possibly, anyway. Um, sorry about that. Um, basically, he's a left back. He's only 20 years old. Hopefully he develops into something. Uh, I think my scout report said lead one potential. I'm not gonna check it. There's no point. Uh, this guy, another left back. Surprisingly, uh, they literally just pummeled me with left backs. My scouts and yeah, but he's only 19. But he's got good. Uh, he's quite fast. He's got good crossing, good passing. So you know, he might develop into someone quite good. Especially he's only 19 years old. Uh, Tim Jakobsen, a Swedish player, only 19, possibly could make an instant impact. Which. Um, you know, it could be it could be good. Uh, he didn't perform well in the preseason matches, but I mean, what can you do? He's he's still, in my eyes, he's he's pretty well balanced. You know, he's got good technical first touch and mark, uh, passing, good vision, teamwork, work rate, leadership, not really important, decisions decent, and you know, his physicals aren't too bad either. So, you know, he might be able to do something. Anyway, this guy's a really good youngster. Um, in my opinion, I feel as though this guy's got some good potential. Okay, he's got, you know, he's got some key. Um, he's got some key technicals. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, he's got some key, um, some key physicals, I guess, and some decent mentals as well. So I, I thought, you know, for 150 quid a week, you know, over the course of a year, if he doesn't do well, then I'll just, you know, sack him off and say goodbye to him. Um, we are actually looking to loan uh, maybe two more players. Um, one of them is Tariq Forsi who is a uh, left and right winger. Uh, he's probably going to be playing on the left wing. He does look fantastic, obviously, but if he joined the club, he would be the best, apparently. So, you know, um, I thought, you know, I think we are going to get them, because I think he uh, it actually got accepted. This guy, again, he's going to be my right mid, 100%. No doubt, no, no shadow of a doubt. He's got fantastic technicals, good mentals, and great physicals, honestly. He's just, he's got, he's got uh, the stats where it's needed. Uh, for the role, uh, Charlie Taylor is a, a left back. I know we've got a lot of left backs, but this guy would be my main left back. Um, although I do have um, uh, Adedi, uh, Adedi, I'm just going to call him Dede. I think. Let's just call him Dede. Um, he, he, as I was saying in the, f uh, in the previous episode, um, you know, I, I, I definitely feel like this guy is probably more of a left back anyway. But I mean, there's no harm in getting a little player really I mean especially if we're getting him for no wages you know completely free even if he just sits there for, for god knows how long anyway so we're going to go into our tactics and these are my tactics so far we're just going to be playing on counter fluid, a very fluid team shape and the instructions more direct closing down more and use time marking now I would love to absolutely pummel these down and get oh uh, oh uh. You get like, um, I don't know, higher tempo, push higher up, um, but I mean, we're only competent and, you know, it's a little bit disappointing, but we're going to be, uh, let's just quick pick for dinner, see what we've got here, um, okay, see, I mean, that's, that's solid, I think, that's solid, I don't know about this, here's one little thing, actually, I actually removed, um, Andy Frampon uh, as the captain and the squad got really upset with me over that but I mean the thing that I see it he's not, he's not going to be playing much and Jack Finch is you know he's going to be key in our success this season if we have any um, and I thought you know if anyone's going to be able to make a difference it's going to be him so anyway we're going to be playing um, we're going to be starting with this Sean Rigg is uh, a Probably a really weak link in this side at the minute, um, so we're not going to be looking for much from him. But you know, we're going to see what we can do. Uh, let's set him to a box box. I just feel like there's something wrong with him as well. I don't. You know, this is quite disappointing. Um, 
But yeah, so we're just going to go into the game right now. And we're going to see what we can do. If um, if it calls for it, we are going to start learning a second tactic. But I want to get this one nailed down um, before... Sorry, uh, before um, before we, we create another one. Um, so Jack Finks is going to be wearing the armband today. Uh, I don't know why I just said that out loud. And we're going to be playing uh, counter-attack and football. Let's just take a quick peek at this guy. Uh, he's got really good, actually. Let's close him down a bit. Wow, man. The players in this league are fantastic. I, um... I'm going to say it passionately. You know what? No, no, no. I'm going to say it aggressively. No, 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 no. I'm just going to say, we're underdogs here. Show me what you can do, boys. You know, we've got a lot that can come through. Just get some positive reactions. I'm only four words, guys, at this point. In. Uh, let's just quickly uh, goal action close, I guess. Okay, here we go. Uh, an early chance? No, it's completely ridiculous. Wait, let's put that there because then we can see everything. Um, I do keep the opposition uh, formation down the bottom right, just in case. Um, but yeah, um, so, okay, Kennedy gets the ball. He just kicks out into space for no apparent reason. Holmes picks it up for, again, no apparent reason. Uh, Laird, back to Holmes on the wing, crossed it into Hume. This could be a really bad opportunity. And they've scored already, eight minutes into the game. This is really disappointing. Good goal though. He did really well on the touch, to be honest. He did really, really well on the touch. They've got this is ridiculous. We haven't had any opportunities. You see this though. Mm, I mean the goalkeepers should definitely have done better there. Honestly. The goalkeepers definitely should have done better there, but anyway, let's close down that guy. Clements, see what you can do. Loses the ball instantly. Okay, this isn't good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Molly News is pushing down. He's got two players on him, and he's, nothing's happening. Sorry about the interruption. Uh, let's carry on. So we're 1 0 down. Um, we are not creating any chances at all. Uh, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Uh, we're not really playing very well either, which is quite disappointing as well. We must, uh, we've got people looking frustrated. See if we can encourage them to get up the pitch and, you know... I mean, I don't know, man. They need to, they need to really, like, fight for this ball back, you know? They need to really try. Okay, here we go. Frankham on the ball. To Clements. I'm really hoping can do something this season. To Smith, to Appiah, off the post. Oh my god, no. Oh, and he'll just clears it up the pitch. That is really disappointing. Now Jack Finch, the guy who I said is going to be really important this season. Let me just see. Recovery. Another opportunity. Maybe we should. I mean, we're starting to get back into this game now, which is pretty good. But I mean, again. Okay, Clements. Big mistake here. Goes one on one with a keeper. Fantastic finish. Great finish. Okay, that's fantastic. That's just brilliant. So one one here at Tranmere, Wimbledon. <laughs> fantastic. What a great like. I don't know what the defender was doing. It's just such a horrible mistake. But Clements, cool as you can be, slots it right beside the goalkeeper. There's absolutely nothing he could have done. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Just going to quickly check to see if he uh, feels he can carry on. But we've got a chance here. Free kick. Jennings whips it in. Great header out. Finch just clears it wide, which is a little bit disappointing. But... Oh my goodness, this is getting it. No, that's not it. There we go. Alright, he says he's unaffected, so I am going to leave him on. He's probably going to get back up uh, his rate of his fitness and well, his condition. He's got to be offside. He has got to be offside there. He's not offside. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. I'm really, I'm really disappointed with that. 
I'm sorry, just watch him. Look at he's 100% offside. There's no way that Kennedy kept him on. Absolutely no way. Ridiculous. We we seem to just be clearing it to no one. I think they they. Hmm, I must have read this opponent wrong to be honest. I was actually um, I was actually looking at the the league table uh, of real life and trying to remember actually bottom. So I mean, this is we've been unlucky. No, 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 no. We've not been playing well. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't care if you're looking stressed. Oh, I'm probably going to have to take someone off. I mean, the left backs are just not performing well. Right. Let's go retain possession. Yeah, the thing is, I just can't put too many of these on. We won't go all into box. Let's see what we can do there. Goodman to Laird. Smacks it from range. Finch. But I'm fair I'm going to have to take him off soon. He's not doing very well with fitness. Ah, oh, this is getting ridiculous. Okay, let's take off high pressure. Yeah, let's just speed up the tempo a little bit. There we go, Clements to rig. Come on, so, notice someone's breaking. Why, why would you do that? Finch hands it out to Franken. This is a good play. Oh, hello. Big mistake again. And Appiah is going to be clinical. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay. That's brilliant. But, I mean, the only, the, the, I'm a little bit worried. Because, I mean, our two goals have only come from mistakes. So, I mean, I don't know what to think about that, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe I'm maybe I'm not as confident as I thought I would be going into the uh, going into the season. I really thought I made some really fantastic signings, but I mean I guess I, I misjudged the league a little bit. See, this is getting ridiculous. I mean, uh, right, let's just start controlling, fall back a little bit. I mean, getting a point here today would be all right, I guess. I mean, uh, I think I'm gonna bring on Borman for Finch. Actually, you know what? Franklin was literally just picked up a knock, so I might have to bring on Alfie Potter as well. He's not really that good either, unfortunately. Right. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring any defenders either, which is a little bit disappointing. But I mean, I could bring on Barry Fuller for Kennedy. I'm just going to make all three changes straight away. I mean, I just feel as though we need to strengthen defence in midfield, honestly, and. I mean, I don't know. I need to get morale up. I need to get morale up. Franken taking a knock. Finch taking a knock. And quite frankly, Kennedy's not playing well enough. It's quite disappointing. I'm going to encourage the lads. Come on, boys. See what you can do. Rig on the left. Pass it into Reeves. This is a good play. Into Appiah. Who might... Oh, he just plays it over. That's absolutely ridiculous. He's got to do much better there. He, he wasn't really under pressure. Why is my goalkeeper looking complacent? He just he's conceded two goals. Like what that's absolutely ridiculous. Right. Riggs to j I mean, ridiculous pass to be honest. She should have been done better there. I think I mean it's clear to me that they're playing standard type football. I think maybe we should play maybe, maybe structure. I might actually just switch up my formation already. That's really disappointing. They broke our defence down so frustratingly easy. Like, so, like, just ridiculously easy. And that is, that's incredibly disappointing. I'm really going to be disappointed if we don't come away with... It's just a simple... I mean, look at that. I mean... Oh, that's so disappointing. It really is, right. Let's just fucking go on overload. I mean, sorry for swearing. Ugh. 
Come on, boys. Rig, get to that ball. Show a bit of urgency. They just don't look urgent, man. They... Oh, no, another... Oh, my God. Good. That was a fantastic tackle. Power works. Oh, my God. 4-2. This is not the... <laughs> This is not what I was looking forward to on the first day of the season. But you know what? It's the first game of the season, I guess, I mean, the, uh, the strikers are a lot, of, like, they're very good. Quite disappointing, though, to be quite honest with you. Maybe we should have just, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know where I went wrong, to be honest. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Yeah, thank God that it went over. <laughs> I would have been very disappointed. Like, very angry. No, oh, that's disappointing. I just know, I mean, I'm not really sure what I could have done. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, the tactic that I played, it's not like... I mean, I don't know. No, they just want to. I don't understand why they're looking stressed. I mean, what do they expect? You lose the first game of the season to Tranmere or, like, come on. I mean, they predicted fifth, so I guess I can't be too angry. I'm only predicted 15th. But I, I honestly thought, I mean, I don't know. We need we need some we need a really good winger and honestly I'm feeling like that striker just isn't as good but I mean let's just take a quick look at the fixtures and we'll see what we're gonna come up against uh, we have got Brighton in the cup um, Pompey away is gonna be a big game um, so we'll just I'm just gonna like on that one and then we'll go over the results in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'm really sorry about, uh, this has probably been a really long episode, but I'm really sorry. Uh, really disappointed performance, but I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Goodbye.